Japan is a land of extremes. Situated on the Pacific Ring of Fire, this archipelago still bears the scars of a tumultuous birth. This living volcanic land thrust up from the ocean depths. Its tormented nature brought forth masterpieces and has swallowed up numerous enigmas. Here, off the eastern tip of Asia, there are men and women who pursue their passions in a relentless quest for perfection. Going beyond one's own limits has been raised to an art. A marriage of nature and tradition that has left its mark on this land of the eternal. tropical south, the long ribbon of the Ryukyu Islands stretches out over 1,200 kilometers. These islands differ from the rest of Japan by their history, their language, and their traditions. A quiet corner of the world lapped by the East China Sea. Here in the westernmost part of Japan rise the cliffs of a little island of 29 square kilometers, Yonaguni. Its nearest neighbor is Taiwan, 110 kilometers away. Shotalo Maja was born and bred here, and this remote island holds no secrets for him. I could never live anywhere but near the sea. I'm one with it. I feel the sea that's all around me. It's as if I were flying. It's something you can experience only in the water. I feel as if I'm traveling through space. It's a very special environment. There's no high school on Yonaguni. So after middle school, I went to Okinawa, the main island. And the fact of leaving my island made me realize just how magnificent the sea is here at Yonaguni. That's why I came back, and I'm glad I did, because my roots are here. Shotalo came back to live on his island, he brought along his wife and son. Here, he's taking you and Kylie to discover a significant sacred site. In the Ryukyu Islands, they practice ancestor worship and fear the power of the shamans. This is a monument in honor of Sanai Isoba. She was a great shaman who ruled the island of Yonaguni a long time ago. Sanai Isoba had four brothers, and they ruled over the villages of Tategu, Danu, Datubaru, Debaru. She ruled from the center of the island and could see everything. If invaders came, she could protect the island. Do you understand? The Ryukyu Islands are steeped in legends that are handed down from generation to generation in different 
to the trends of modern Japan. Uh, hi, Dad. Hello. In 1985, Kiyashiro Aratake, a professional diver, discovered an extraordinary underwater site. He's totally convinced that it is an archaeological ruin. If we find any traces of human activity, we'll try to have this structure declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We have to focus on the dolmen, the turtle sculpture, and the triangular basin. We have to look for evidence, in particular, in the holes that held the pillars. We have to measure the depth. That's where we have to start. And around the turtle, we have to see if there's anything left there. How did it feel when you discovered this site? It was around the time you were born. It was like a vision. I was in the water, but I felt like I was flying. The water was crystal clear. I thought I was dreaming. I thought, what is this? It was as if I was looking at Machu Picchu from the sky. I had goosebumps. I thought maybe I'd gone crazy. That's how overwhelmed I was. Now it's up to Shotalo to solve Yonaguni's underwater mystery. When I was in middle school, it was easy to get down to the water from here, but then the ledge collapsed. I haven't been here in quite a while. This is one of Yonaguni's landscapes that I really love. The rocks here are so characteristic. From here, they look like steps. It looks very archaeological, but the site my father discovered is much bigger and really seems man-made. Several times a year, Yonaguni is buffeted by violent typhoons. In April 2015, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake rocked the island. The threat of a tsunami is ever present, so the islanders live in a state of permanent alert. Yonaguni looks like a besieged fortress. Inhabitants of Okinawa practice singular funeral rites. The round tombs symbolize the mother's womb. By returning to it, the deceased are completing the cycle of reincarnation. In Okinawa, all the generations are buried in the same tomb. We should preserve this tradition. This tomb will be the final resting place for me, for my two sons, and their children after them. I think it's very important that we continue on as a family, even after death, that we all stay together. I believe that each element of culture possesses a soul. We should pass this heritage on. Once a year, the men of Yonaguni launch the Sabani, a sacred boat, to thank the gods for their past blessings and to ask their future protection. 
Their ancestors, fishermen and intrepid voyagers, ventured far from the archipelago on board these unstable, hard-to-steer boats. Kiyashiro has mastered the art of steering the Sabani. has finally calmed down. Chotelot and his father head for the underwater site to continue their investigation. Kiyashiro, pioneer in diving in the Ryukyus, was the first to create a dive center here and has trained hundreds of divers. Now his son is carrying on his work. Take this with you. Okay. Okay, let's go. Just a stone's throw from the world of humans, we find strange, somewhat menacing creatures standing guard over one of the world's most enigmatic sites. Some people think that these are the ruins of a long-vanished civilization. Sophisticated scientific techniques like carbon-14 dating have shown that a few thousand years ago, this site was above water. Now it's widely accepted that the base is natural. But for many observers, its shape was modified by the hand of man between six and 10,000 years ago. With its east-west orientation, irrigation ditches, basins, regularly spaced holes, the stairways and geometric sculptures, this 180 meter long site is potentially the greatest discovery ever made. Testimony to an extremely advanced civilization, predating even the time of the pharaohs. This spot is truly mysterious. We had several archaeological experts here from abroad, and we also had Japanese geology professors who came to study the site. But why is this thing here? We don't know. We still don't know exactly what it is. I hope that other teams will come and do the necessary research to one day solve the mystery. History and tradition, the lifeblood of the Yonaguni Islanders. It takes a long apprenticeship to master the traditional dance form of Okinawa, a discipline that is as much a spiritual exercise as a martial art. 
In feudal times, only the elite had the right to bear arms, so the peasants used their scythes to defend themselves. The hat is used to hide the sword and also serves as a shield. Yonaguni is a land outside of time. Shotalo is once again enjoying the peace and quiet of his childhood home, an island with a wealth of treasures. The rare and expensive yakogai is a shellfish endemic to the island. <laughs> it looks good. Would you like to try it? You're eating it without sauce? <laughs> is it good? Yeah, it's good. This is Japan. This is Okinawa. And it's something else as well. It's almost like a foreign country. We speak our own language here. This place is one of a kind.